friends, Shay here. Today is Monday and it is hot and I am tired and very uncomfortable in these clothes. I'm ready to get in my PJs. Boy, what a start to the vlog. <laughs> Sorry, gotta drink some water. Mango water. Pretty good, but it's still not my peach mango. Anyway, okay. Ow! I got something sticking in my finger. It hurts. Or at least it feels like something sticking in your finger. That happens to me all the time. Do any of y'all get that? You know, everything will be fine. You won't know no that nothing's happened. And all of a sudden, you just kind of touch or rub a little spot on somewhere on your, usually the finger. And it feels like something's sticking you and pricking you. And you look, and there's nothing there at all. But yet, you touch and it has to go a certain way because you can touch it other ways and you won't feel it. But you touch it a certain way and it sticks and pricks and I hate that. Anyway, this is, I won't be in the bay window today so you won't get the welcome at the beginning. Um, got up and had to go to the doctor and that ended up being a wasted trip. with we found you know last time I was there I was supposed to go back in three months to have more blood work done to see if me changing my diet had made the diabetes number go down all right Albert found uh, an appointment to go to the doctor in his phone he had set we had forgot about it he found it two or three days before today it was for today and uh, but I was confused as to why I couldn't remember because I knew they told me to come back in three months. And that was just back in April that I went. At least I think it was April. Or it could have been the last of March. But I was thinking it was in April. But still, even if it was, it ain't been no three months. And I'm sorry, I know my hair is oily and needs washing. I just took my clamp out because I've had a bad headache. Anyway... I knew it was too soon. It ain't been three months. So, uh, but anyway, they called me the other day to confirm my appointment for today. And while they was on there, I asked them, I said, well, am I supposed to be getting blood work? Do I need to fast for it? Because I don't know. I don't remember. I'm confused about why I'm coming in. And uh, all that lady told me was, I'm sorry. I don't know. All I'm doing is confirming your appointment. She didn't even bother to try to check and find out for me either. So anyway, so then this morning, I mean, you know, I knew we, the appointment was today. It was supposed to be 11.30. So just in case, I was going to be prepared. So last night after 12, I didn't eat nothing. And I didn't eat nothing this morning, but I was hungry. I wanted to eat breakfast this morning. So I called them this morning because, you know, I still didn't really know. And I was thinking, well, shoot, if I ain't really having... To get blood work I'm gonna eat breakfast so I'm gonna call them so I called them and I asked them and they told me on the phone well you're not seeing the doctor it is to get blood work done so you do need to fast uh, but you're not seeing the doctor and you don't have to wait till 11:30. you can come on in early so we got ready and left and went on in early and um it's where I go to the doctor in Chalmette is an hour drive away all right we get there walk in and I tell them I'm here to have blood work done. So she pulls it up on the computer, you know, and she's looking and she says, well, there's no blood work ordered for you. And then she says, you do have an appointment though at 11.30 to see the doctor and then he can order the blood work for you. So we told her then there, you know, that they told me on the phone that I wasn't seeing a doctor, that it was to get blood work and for me to fast. She said, well, I don't know. All I know is it's not ordered and you, you're supposed to see the doctor. So I've got you down. They'll call you in a minute. Just sit down and wait. Sit down. We had to wait two, I mean, not two, almost two. It felt like it. We had to wait an hour and 20 minutes long in that waiting room before they called us back. So finally they called us back. So we explained to that lady, I guess she was the nurse or whatever. I don't really know who's who, what's what there anyway. We explained to her the situation and how it's back and forth and we're not really sure what. So she gets on the computer and pulls it up and looks and she says, you know, it is too soon to do the blood work. It's not been three months. 
So if you want to wait and come back, she said, you don't even have to see the doctor unless you want to see the doctor. Do you have a reason to see the doctor? And I said, no, I don't. Um, so she said, okay. She said, well, that's it. You don't have to do nothing and you don't have to pay. She said, I'm gonna take it off right now, so don't worry about that, you won't have to pay. Um, you know, she said, you'll just come back in July for your blood work. That's when you're supposed to come and have your blood work so fast and come back to do your blood work in July. So we left, came back home. That was a wasted trip. And I starved breakfast for nothing. We did stop at uh, Waffle House and I got me some eggs and bacon and sausage and grits there. Um, so anyway, then we came back home and uh, rushed in and I took my medicine since I hadn't took my medicine because I didn't eat. And I was gonna meet with that group today. Well, I say that group, it ended up just being one lady. I thought I might be meeting with two, but it ended up just being one with the meetup hobby group that I tried to get started on that meetup website thing. And um, so Albert took me to the library and I was there first. I waited on her a little bit and then she showed up. Now she's the lady that has the Excuse me. Sorry, I'm burping. That has the Pine Lily Retreat uh, house that I'm showing y'all in this vlog after this because we actually took took it the other day. Or y'all may have done seen that. I can't remember if I've put that up yet or not. I think I did already. So y'all done seen that. I did do some vlogging yesterday, Sunday for Mother's Day that I'm putting in after this. So, anyway, she's the lady that has that place and she has a big craft room in it and they, you know, they get together and do crafting and stuff like that. So me and her talked and I told her what I wanted, you know, the plans, my ideals for the group. And, uh, but it was only me and her, nobody else seems to be wanting to participate much. So she said, if you don't have a group of people, you can't hardly do anything. You know, they have to really want to and they have to commit and come to the meetings to do this. So we're not really getting anything started as of yet since it's just me and her. She was hoping we could meet there, but she's wanting to charge money, which I don't really have. So I don't know how that's gonna go either. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna wait since I have the two week, it's probably a week and a half now, maybe even one week left on the group. See if anybody else asks to join that might be more interested in doing this. Um, and if not, that lady did not want to take over the organizer of the group and pay the fee. And if nobody else is going to participate, they ain't going to want to. I can't because I don't have the money, so I guess they'll close it out. So I'm just going to wait and see. But the lady did say that I could come and join some of her groups there. They make cards. They do scrapbooking. But again, it's you have to pay to do it. But she says she serves you lunch. And if it's just for a few hours, it's just a $10 thing. But if it's kind of an all-day thing, she serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner, she said. And you have, she has the cuddle bug, the big shot, the cricket, all these things for you to use. She has all the paper you use. So she says all that money, plus you're getting to do all that and you're eating, that covers all that, you know. But still, I don't know. So anyway, I told her I would try to come see it soon and, you know, see if I could, you know, maybe do something there with her sometimes. I gotta have the money to do it though. But anyway, um, and I'm gonna wait on the group. If it, somebody else joins and we can get something going, good. If not, then I guess they'll close it out and then I guess I won't have a hobby group. That's sad. That's really sad. Anyway, so now I'm back home. Albert has been having bad headaches. His eyes is really bothering him, so he got an eye doctor appointment this evening. And him and Elizabeth's gone to that, so I'm here by myself. I just got home, though, back from the library. I was using Elizabeth's car. Elizabeth and her daddy went in his truck. I'm assuming Benny's out at his house. 
Um, so this is the vlog for today. I'm fixing to get comfortable and chill out, chill out and check my email. And that's probably about all I'll do. Um, I'm hungry. I'm about to find something else to eat too again. But anyway, uh, at the end of this, and this is all that the vlog is going to be today, is this, me talking to you. I'm sitting in the living room on my couch. See, you can see the back of it right here. Fireplace is over there with my dolls on the shelves. That's the mirror over the, where's my hand? Over the couch right there. So, just this little bit of me talking to y'all. And then, um, at the end of it, I'm going to put up what I vlogged yesterday, Sunday, for Mother's Day. So, y'all will get to see that. So, again, I'm going to go ahead and say here, I'm done, I'm gone, toodaloo until tomorrow. But then you're going to see the end of it. Alright, guys, maybe tomorrow, Tuesday, will be a better vlog, okay? Toodaloo until then. Hello, everybody. This is Sunday, Mother's Day. So, happy Mother's Day. Um, this vlog won't be going up today, but I am vlogging it because I walked in here this morning. Well, I walked in here first off and went to the bathroom and all that when I woke up and the table was still messy from last night. Then I went to my laptop and ate my breakfast. I was checking my email and when I come back in here, this is what I seen. So they snuck and fixed the table up on me. <laughs> <laughs> so a pretty tablecloth and then this looks like a pot for a flower and it is full of sugar free candy and another little red container and it's full of stickers and a bookmark that first one right there is a bookmark with owls on it and the rest of them or packs of stickers and these are the states so that would be good in the state pocket letters there's another one in there for travel that would be good for right there state pocket letters probably so that's it put my tree and salt and pepper shaker over there Benny's knocking at the door out there Gotta let him in. Alright guys, y'all will see this in tomorrow's vlog. Instead of today, we're gonna eat crawfish today after church. Toodaloo until later. Okay friends, this is still Sunday, Mother's Day. I'm in my craft room. We just got home from Sunday school. I done got changed and comfortable. Um, this morning at church, the pastor and his wife had gave all the ladies a little gift and handed them out. And I'm going to show you what it is. Um, also after church, the youth had done a fundraiser and they made chocolate covered strawberries. And Elizabeth bought me a pack and, but she had it specially ordered to be sugar free. Um, chocolate covered strawberries so I'm gonna show y'all those so this is the little package that was from the pastor and his wife it's heart-shaped measuring spoons you can see the handles in there and it was on this with a bow and it's got a little heart thing. I can't read it because the bow's in the way and I ain't opened the package yet. And then here is the pack. It's got a big pretty ribbon bow red on it and I can use that in my crafting. And the little tag here says Happy Mother's Day. And it is chocolate covered strawberries. And I've done eight, three of them on the way home from church. And they are good. And 
Albert's fixing to go and get pick up our crawfish in a little bit and there's a place here in town that they boil the crawfish and sell them that way so Albert's fixing to go get them and uh, bring them home and we are gonna chow down and then I'm gonna let him take a nap <laughs> so like I said this will be in tomorrow's vlog because I don't vlog on Sundays I don't try to vlog and don't try to put one up but I wanted to do this since it was Mother's Day and the special things that was going on so but you will see it tomorrow all right toodaloo until then okay guys this is my Mother's Day lunch this is still Sunday Mother's Day and this is our lunch big old pot of crawfish corn on the cob and potatoes and we are fixing to sit down and chow down yep 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 all right toodaloo until later